Good day, citizens. It is 7-28-2021, a little bit later than usual. It's 9.30 p.m. Eastern. And today, I'm looking at a project called Zed Run. And Zed Run is a horse racing game built on Ethereum. And I'm going to leave the links to the Twitter and to all the pages below, just as usual. And, of course, you can find these horses on OpenSea if you go to the Marketplace. But before you go looking in the collections and typing in Zed Run to find horses, you might want to know a little bit about the project. So we're going to do a little bit of a dive. Um, some things are always subject to change. Some things may be hearsay that I say. But for the most part, this is my understanding of the project. <clears throat> I recently just watched a, a race here, but we'll get into that in a second. And before we begin, let's talk about the types of horses. Now, you have first generations, which are very low in availability and are considered super rare. And you have, they are called Nakamoto's. And Nakamoto's are considered like your purebred, high-end racehorse. Next, you have Sazabo. I think that's how you say it. And they would be second best. Then you have Finney's, which would be third. And then, of course, you have fourth, which would be Buterin's. And... The thing about these horses is, from Nakamoto down to Buterin, as soon as you go down this change, there is more of them, and their genotype, which we will dive into, is a going to be a lower number. So a Buterin will never have a genotype number of a Nakamoto. And what I'll do here is we will go to OpenSea, and I'll click on a horse so you can see what I'm talking about. And if you come under, if you click a horse and you come under properties. You can see its bloodline, you can see its gender, and you can see its xenotype, genotype, and its breed type, and its coat color. Now, in this game, the type of horse, its bloodline, and its genotype matter. Because a lower Z number in the genotype usually means it will be a faster horse. And to give you an example, a Z1 and Z2 is going to have a faster runtime than a horse that goes all the way up to like z1000 or z300 or z200 and you can see that reflected in prices now there is male horses and female horses on top of the different breeds and of different types of horses and that is because they do breed horses in this game there is stud service now something to consider a nakamoto breeding with a nakamoto is going to make a nakamoto horse if you have a buterin and you breed it with a Nakamoto, unfortunately, no matter what two horses you pair together, it'll always come out the lower breed. And that is, just like in real horse racing, you usually want a purebred or thoroughbred racehorse. And that is reflected inside the game. Now, to start this game, you can uh, create an account for free. You can create your own stable and give it a name. Just remember that this game runs on ETH. And if you go to do auctions on OpenSea, usually they will take wrapped ETH. Some people use different coins, but for the most part, most uh, auctions or uh, buying has been in wrapped ETH. Um, another thing that people do that uh, you might want to take note of is people actually breed horses for specific colors. So I have it over here, and I'll link this article, and you can see the color. There's a color chart here. Now this article is a little old, but from my understanding of what people are saying in the Discord, this is still true. Um, there is a percentage-based formula down here of what your color can come out as. And it explains here what a dame is and a sire. And that just means mother horse or father horse, how to gender what horse you have. And it tells you what, what your percent chance wise is in a bracket. Now, of course, the best is the... Best chance is to always have two horses of the same color. I think you can uh, cook your odds to 40 to 50% based on the uh, mathematical equation below, but that could change. So instead of breeding for just types, people breed for colors. And you can see this Z number here, and that is the genotype. And you can see that usually horses with a uh, uh, a lower genotype between 10 or lower have a higher price 
And just to show you that, we'll go by highest price here for a second. And you can see a Z1 are they're going for just now mind you this is just to breed your horse so this will make a new horse but people are paying a lot of money to breed their virtual racehorses and well i mean you the money speaks for itself um we'll go price lowest that way you can get an idea of what the lowest are you can see here there's a z173 and it's only going for 40. now you might ask, well, why does this matter? Because the genome type will affect the quality of your racehorse just as much as the breed. Um, so how your horse race races in this game will affect how your horse that you breed will race. So people usually deep dive into this. And there's other sites that people have made to where you can see the odds on your racehorse and see if he has good odds. And... I do believe people are talking about in the future that you can see here there's distances. Some horses are better at long distances. Some horses are better at short distances. And you also have categories. So a horse will start in the gripping class and then he will work his way up. And usually as you work your way up, the prize pools are more and the entry, pool, uh, entry fee is higher. And you can see how this race, there's 12 registered, the prize pool is $27, entry fee is $250, and the prize pool, I do believe, is split between the three horses that place first, second, and third, and I believe that is called placing. And there is talk later on that instead of just distances, that they will have hard soils and soft soil racetracks, so that might play at a have some type of effect on the horse that races as well sounds complicated sounds a little difficult to understand but it's it's really not if you understand what's going on and i'll show you a race here in a second just be just just to cover what we've gone over so far this game runs on ethereum usually you wrap your eth to have it in your account so you can buy and breed horses you can breed them based on racing winnings and losing based on uh, breeding based on color and breeding based on breed and then on top of that with the four breeds you have starting at the bottom race class to the top the entry fees are usually lower down here and get more expensive when you become class three or higher of a racing horse so now that we've covered through that we can go back to open sea real quick and we can see what a top tier horse might look like and we'll go to collections and we'll go to Z run. We'll type it in the collections. You can see it pops up right here. Make sure that it is uh indeed verifiable by the logo. Has the check mark next to the horse. Don't get scammed. And we'll go by price high to low. Some of these are gonna be outliers. Ignore them. That's uh that's ridiculous. I don't think anybody would ever pay that much. I don't think everyone would pay even nowhere near this much for a horse. Um, so these people are out their minds. Um, but let's go down here. Just to give you a heads up, the Atari Z Run aligned or had a partnership with Atari, and those horses went for about ten to twelve Ethereum. I think my, one of them might have went for fifteen, which at the time was about forty to sixty thousand dollars. So these people asking a hundred Ethereum are, in my opinion, out their mind. That's kind of stupid another thing you might want to be aware of is once a horse is named it cannot be the name at this time cannot be changed so there is horses that are bred that are not named so if you want to name your horse you want to get something called a unnamed foul but just for for uh for the sake of argument here we're going to scroll down to something that i think is reasonably priced and take a look at it and maybe maybe something i'm not going to pay but We'll look for something around nine Ethereum, and we'll just put that put that in the search here. Nine five, and you guys can see here that around twenty thousand dollars for this horse, and it is a Sazavo with a Z three, so it has a really good genotype, and it's uh the second best bloodline, and it's a filly. So, 
Um, some people look at, before they buy a horse, the rarity of the coat color. Like I said, people breed for colors. Some people also look up the horse to see if it's been raced or if it has uh, been bred. Some people don't want to buy a horse that's been bred, and some people don't want to buy a horse that's been raced. The people who play this game, however, recommend that you do buy a horse that has been raced. That way you know what kind of horse it will be. Another thing that people do in this game that is kind of crooked is they will have a horse for sale. They will put it up here on OpenSea. They will say it's unraced. They will then race it and see its odds. And then they will change its price according to how it either places or the odds that it is given. Kind of dirty, but that is something that people do. And there's many people that have been playing this game for over a year now. Um, definitely check out YouTube and try to find other people because there's some people that go into some real deep diving and there's also some real cool videos of people that are in group chats racing their horses against each other so that's pretty neat but just just for an example here you can see the facts here but usually as I'm saying the lower the genome number the, the Z the lower the Z the number next to the Z usually the better it is as racing but we'll go ahead and we'll watch a race here We'll click up next to run. Um, events, next to run. Let's have this reload. And we can see here we got a couple live. Um, let's go for this class. I believe that's class 5, 1,200, prize pool 27. We can see the horses that are running. We have some pretty low Z numbers. We really want to watch maybe this 9. So bet and Honda, Blue Falcon. And we'll watch these guys closely. So Honda, Vet, and Blue Falcon, let's watch these guys. Now, there is always a chance that a higher Z number can win, and that is programmed in, just so that somebody that is starting out will have a chance to win. But expect not to place in first place a lot when you have a horse with a high Z number. You, If you watch up here, you can uh, see the horses here. You can enable music and turn off music. You can also enable a lock camera. And you can see the meters count down here. And as the horses run, their uh, placement will change. I will enable the music. Sorry about the ear problem right there you're going to have. But they have some pretty nice music. And it shows the prize pool down here. And we said we wanted to watch Bet. Uh, I call it a Blue Falcon, but I guess it's Blue Alcandor. And when you click these horses, you can pull up their statistics down here, and you can see their Z number. So he's actually a Z21, and he's outperforming these other horses, but I would look as the legs of this race continue for a lower Z number to pull ahead, such as this guy, who is a Z18, and then Sejuan Sauce, who's a Z23 also. Um, I'm kind of blown away that the, uh, maybe I read it wrong out there. But I would expect a, a low, low Z number to, to pull ahead here. So Z13, we have 100 meters less. Let's see what happens at the closing finish line here. And you can see Cheek Clapper one by a couple of microseconds and you can see his career winnings down here his stable name his win rate is 10 percent his genotype is elite and he's a z13 and in a second here we'll be able to look at uh we'll be able to look at the horses i believe uh sorry but uh out of that race i thought i read a couple z8s i guess i was wrong i guess they were in the z double digits but if you were wondering what a live horse race looks like, that's that's an example. We have another one here where the, the, the race is going for $100, $160 pool. This is a, a real game where people are putting real money. Currently, there is no way to bet outside as a spectator. I don't know if they will add that feature in. I think it would be pretty cool as a spectator to be able to bet on horses and to uh, sponsor other people's stables. That may come, that may not, I don't know. But, yeah, this is something that was cool, I thought was shared, to, to share about you that's out there, that if you didn't know and didn't have a clue, that we now have horse racing running on crypto. And 
as crypto continues to grow, the way that crypto is used continues to grow and blockchain is is continuing to grow. And instead of just money moving around or leverage trading or buying collectibles like cards on wax or playing blockchain games like our planet or even the up upcoming green rabbit you can actually race horses now and uh i thought that was worth sharing with you guys so i'm gonna I'm leave the links below i'm gonna end this video here and of course if you got some time check it out check out some other youtube videos by other people who actually race horses and uh if you got some money hey buy yourself a horse and uh start racing you guys have a good one stay blessed i'll catch you next time